In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create this origami folding airplane thing. So let's get started. Let's open up a new scene here. And I'm going to bring in a plane, hit NB to show me the lines. I'm going to change my width segments to 2 and my height segments to 1. And then I'm going to hit C to make it editable. Go into point mode, select these two points, and hit delete. I just want the right side because I'm going to use a symmetry object later. So the next thing, I'm going to hit KK to bring up the knife tool. And I'm going to start at this point here and drag about halfway point there. Hit escape and that leaves me with two polygons. Next thing I'm going to do is make another cut right here. And if you're trying to figure out how to get how to know where to make these cuts, I just folded up a piece of paper and use that as a reference. So you can do the same or you can follow along here with me. So I've cut these now into their own individual pieces, but there's still a single um, piece of geometry. I want to split these into their own pieces of geometry. So I'm gonna go into polygon mode, and I'm gonna use the shortcut UP to split, and do that for each polygon that I want. Now I'm gonna hide this polygon which is my original don't need that anymore and I'm gonna group these by hitting alt G into its own null let's call this paper plane and now I have these individual pieces if I go into object mode you can see that my axis is still in the center here at the original spot and if I try to rotate these, it's not going to work the way I want it to. So I want to be able to fold along these edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, go into edge mode, select this edge, go into set and set selection. That's going to create a selection tag for me. And I'm just going to do that for each of the polygons. We don't need to do that for the last one because that is already in the correct position. So now I want to be able to, when I rotate this, I want to be able to rotate all of the other pieces with it um, because I want to pretend like it's attached, like it's a single piece of paper. So to do that, I'm just going to make these the child of the previous object. So do that, like that like that so now if I rotate this everything else in front of it comes along for the ride Oops. but our problem is that our axis is still in the wrong place so to fix that we're going to use the axis center tool and let's just dock that right here and because we made these selections, what you can do is over here, you can say alignment. And in this case, we want to align the X plane to that. So we'll say axis X and alignment selected edge. And what that's going to do is it's going to use your selected edge as a guide to place the axis. And then you hit execute and go into object mode to see if it worked. Uh, in this case, it did not work. I want it to be right up on the edge. So I think what I have to do is on the Z, I need to go all the way up or to negative negative 100%. Let's see if that works. Yep, that did work. And now if I rotate this, that is rotating in the, in the correct spot. Great. So let's do that for the other one as well. We'll come back here into axis center and execute. 
go into object mode and that did not work. So for this, maybe we'll reset it and that didn't work either. So I think, yep, that worked. Then we go back to this one, go to exit center. And that worked. So now, oops, now I can rotate all of these in the correct direction. Great. So now all we have to do, well, now the next thing they do is add a symmetry object. That way we can see what the opposite side is doing as well. And because we put it in a null, we can just drop it into the symmetry and it'll just work. And if you go into attributes, you'll see that the mirror plane is set to ZY. That's what we want. Um, if you uh, used a different axis to cut your plane, you can try um, different ones and see what works best for you. In this case, ZY works perfectly, so I'm gonna move on. The next thing we wanna do is able do is connect all of those because we want cinema to be <clears throat> cinema to think that it's one piece of geometry. So I'm going to drop this under the connect and make the null a child of the connect and make sure weld is turned on. Tolerance is 0.1 is fine. That now tells um, cinema that this is a single object. So now, if we were to start animating some of this stuff, let me just turn on auto keyframing. And let's select all of these and hit the keyframes over here to record them. Rotation, position. And then we'll go to frame 30. And let's go to plane one, rotate that, bring it up. Go to the second one, we need, to, we need that to come down. And I really figured this out just by actually doing a paper origami myself. So we can do that as well. We'll fold this over. Now you see the, the other polygon starts intersecting, but that's not a problem. We're gonna rotate that later. So we'll come up to maybe there. And then the last one will go this direction and there. And so you see that we have some like weird Fong shading stuff going on. And to fix that, we're gonna go into our connect object. And in the Fong mode, let's turn off our auto keying. In the Fong mode, uh, we wanna go down to manual and that will fix our Fong. So now if I go back to the beginning and hit play, you can see that we have a folding paper origami airplane. But we don't have any thickness, so let's give it a little bit of thickness. And I'm gonna do that just by adding a cloth surface. And in the attributes, we're going to our objects, we don't need any subdivisions but we do want some thickness. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and then hit these numbers to go into increments of 0.1. And that looks like it might be a good thickness. And let's hit play. That's how you make a paper airplane. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.